time. And thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of Stop It V. Let's take a look. Slander, slander, slander alert. It's your boy Felonious Monk. I said your boy, I don't give a fuck about all Y'all some sensitive money, you're a hypocrite. I'm a comedian, eat a dick up. Listen, all of these videos is comedy videos. If there's something serious in it, take the serious shit and learn from it. But it's a fucking comedy video. Stop it with the corny shit, B. Stop it, B. Today's topic, today's topic, happy belated Mother's Day. Man, happy belated Mother's Day to all of the really, really good mothers out there. Happy Mother's Day to my mother, Miss Denise Banks. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. I love you. Happy Mother's Day to all of the grandmothers that are out there taking care of their kids and the single fathers who are out there doing the part, doing the job of the mother for whatever reason. I don't care. Happy Mother's Day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for taking care of your kids, raising your kids up. And don't say, well, that's what you're supposed to do. Yeah, that's what you're supposed to do. But obviously, that's not what every fucking body does because Dora the Explorer has raised more kids in the last seven or eight years than half of the fucking parents. Shit's ridiculous. Shit is ridiculous. I, I, I wish I could fucking do a really good impersonation of fucking the RZA. Shit's appalling. I'm appalled. You fucking go to the club six times a week, ass motherfuckers. My man Zoo said something today. He said a good mother finds ways to spend time, finds time to spend with her kids. A bad mother finds time to go to the club. Are you fucking kidding me? This is some true shit. How many of you know mothers that go to the club but never go to PTA meetings? How about that? How many of you know mothers just complaining about the lack of child support they get, but they got extra money to go to that fucking $2 drink Tuesdays? Them $2 drinks is... Listen, if you have a kid who's getting a fucking free lunch ticket, but you got $25 to spend in the club, that's your fucking kid's lunch money. That's not some shit that you... I'm not going to sacrifice. Not getting drunk at the club is not a sacrifice, bitch. Yes, bitch. That's bitch thinking. By the way, fellas... Stop looking at what your baby mom's has and going, uh, she got enough. She makes this much money. So she didn't have a fucking baby by herself. I say this because I have a, I don't have a baby mother. I have an ex-wife and my daughter's mother is a fucking phenomenal mother. We don't always get along. Please know we do not always get along. Sometimes we don't get along because she's in my fucking shit. You need to do more, 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 more. I'd rather her call me and tell me I need to do more, more, more than to be calling me trying to get some dick and not asking me about my kid. That's why I respect her as a great mother. Some of you motherfuckers don't give a fuck how good of a parent the woman that you had a kid by is as long as you can still fuck her. Stop it, B. Stop it. It's time to step up big parents. On Mother's Day, we all remember the good mothers. The unfortunate thing is, how many times do you see? Shout out to all the single mothers out there holding it down. Why are we having more baby showers than weddings? Because marriage isn't important anymore. Bullshit. You see these fucking kids that can't read or write? They know the fucking words, the racks on racks, though. Fuck out of here, man. Get your whole life together, man. All of it. Not a portion. Not a half. Don't get a good job and still don't fucking raise your kids. Raise your fucking kids, man. Raise your kids. Speaking to everybody, self-included. If you got kids and you ain't spending as much time with your kids as you are with your homies, you a bitch, nigga. That's what I'm saying. Or you're just a bitch. Either way, spend some fucking time with your kids, man. If your kids call your grandmother, mom... If your kids think every dude that comes in the house is their fucking uncle, well, why is their uncle always sleeping in the bed with mommy? Their kids see Uncle Henry more than they see their own fucking daddy. That's the daddy's fault. That's not mom's fault. I would rather fight with my ex-wife and still spend time with my daughter than to avoid the headache and not see my kid, man. The fuck wrong with you, man? Change your life. CYL. When I say stop it, B... B could be for me, motherfucker. These messages go everywhere. This is a hard one for me because I have a daughter, B. Every day, man. Every day. Sometimes I want to quit this shit. I want to do comedy. I want to stand up. Stand up for a new comedian. We ain't caking up. I'm not getting Kevin Hart money to do this shit. I do it because I love it. And I want my daughter to grow up to know that there's something that she loves out there that's worth more than anything else in the world. But there's nothing worth, worth more than my daughter. If someone's going to get sacrificed, it's these fucking jokes. It's these jokes, so y'all better start paying me so I can keep taking care of my daughter, is what I'm trying to tell y'all. Somebody kick that scratch. Uh, you can hit me at fmonk72 at gmail if you want to make a donation, is all I'm saying to you. But true story, y'all start taking care of your fucking kids. Next year on Mother's Day, let's go. Happy's mo Happy Mother's Day. It's good to see these kids out here doing the right thing. 
You talking about the world's gonna end in 2012. World's gonna end right now if you don't start taking care of your fucking kids. These kids out here is doing more and more reckless shit. Younger and younger in gangs. Younger and younger having babies. Younger and younger getting felony murder charges. And moms, younger and younger in the club. Nobody watching your fucking kids. Once again, if you spend more nights in the club coming home at 2 o'clock in the morning that you do tucking your own fucking kid in. That's why women are going to the club later and later because they're trying to tuck their kids in and wait till they go to sleep to go to the club like the kid don't fucking know. You still waking up at 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock in the morning when you should have been up at 5 making sure your kid got to school on time. You waste. Ooh, you are a waste of fucking life, you useless bitch. Give the kid to the dad. Oh, can't do that either because them niggas is dead beats out this motherfucker. Make something happen in your kid's life, man. Change your fucking life, you useless piece of shit. Listen, I'm not talking down to you. If this makes you feel some kind of way, go take care of your kids. The time that you spend commenting on my wall, complaining about my fucking video, you could be reading to your kid. Eat a dick up. This is a true story service message. A lot of times I tell you all they all jokes. Yeah, this is jokes. It's supposed to be funny. You should chuckle a couple times when I call them a useless bitch because I really don't think she's a useless bitch. However, she got a useless bitch mentality. So, you are what you think, bitch. Take care of your fucking kids out here, man. Stop it, B. Well, that's all for this week's episode. Stay tuned for the next episode of Stop It, B with Felonious Monk. Bye-bye.